Good evening and congratulations on another superb win, Paul. Thank you. I know you wanted to, first of all, thank the groundsman who did an outstanding job last night on preparing the pitch and trying to keep it dry against adversity and the Cornish weather today. Yeah, no, that's it. They've, they've done a really good job all three days. Uh, I know it's tough at St Austell with, with the way the ground dries and stuff like that. Obviously, when it is wet, with it being in a bit of a bowl, it's... Uh, difficult for them um, but they prepared a wicket that was uh, conducive to a bit of spin and also like to get a result um, it's definitely a result pitch um, uh, going into today obviously we knew there was a bit of rain around they put a few extra covers on and stuff like that which meant that we were able to get on um, and obviously with Wiltshire still being in the game that was good for both sides um, and it showed when we went on uh, Wiltshire took a few wickets um, in a little cluster there, so it sort of put the game in the balance. But luckily, we managed to uh, come through and uh, yeah, pull off another famous Cornish victory, which was nice. I know, superb, because uh, obviously you didn't do so well on the first innings, and superb comeback, I have to say, um, which puts you uh, in a really good position in the table, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think after last week's win against Shropshire as well, that was a brilliant win. Uh, we were sort of 20 points clear of Wales um, in second place. And then obviously today we've managed to overcome a deficit in the first innings of 80 runs, which is quite a big sort of... On a wicket like that where runs are hard to come by, like 80 runs is a, is a lot to sort of give the opposition um, a head start with. Um, and the way we bowled in the... Wiltshire's second innings was superb, like can't fault the lads at all. Triff again, superb with the ball. He uh, took five for in both innings, which was brilliant, and just gave us that threat. Um, and he was ably supported by Ellis and Matt Lawrence at the other end, who also picked up valuable wickets for us. So that was awesome. Um, and the table's looking very good for Cornwall. Um, I think we're sort of 30 points clear, but we do finish next week against Wales. So there'll be a game after next week for the other teams and that's the one that we sort of have a bye week um, so hopefully we can go to Wales now full of confidence and uh, look to cement our place at the top before before the others finish which would be absolutely awesome for Cornwall and hopefully we can put a strong push for promotion and see where we are after the game next week. Brilliant. Well done. Because I know you've got a few new players, but I believe two people had uh, caps today. Do yeah, you like to just that was good. Tell um, me about that. Yeah, so um, two cap players today, uh, Will McVicker and Max Trifonos. So they're, they're, Will, Will, firstly, was obviously coming over the winter. We found, found him. Um, I think everyone who's played with him knows what, what sort of player he is. And obviously... When you're watching from home and stuff like that, you can see how much he adds to the team with both bat and ball. Um, but he's yeah, he's been a breath of fresh air, to be honest, in the changing room. Uh, he helps the lads when they need a bit of help, and he's just he's just fit in like like one of us really, and it's been absolutely brilliant. And then obviously Max has played for a few seasons now, um, and this year's by far I would say is his best year for us. Like he came in. Um, First on debut, he, he sort of saw us over the line against Berkshire, which was a famous victory. And then obviously this year in the white ball format, he's been really, really frugal with the ball and uh, taken key wickets at key points in games. And then obviously in this game, he's come back from an injury, bowled a few overs. They were coming out nicely and obviously he's picked up 10 in the game and also scored a valuable knock in the first innings. I think he had 30 odd and then got uh, 20 in the second inning so yeah he's fully both fully deserve their caps and hopefully we'll uh, get them on board for next week and, and the following season if we can brilliant and I think um, congratulations are in order because I think McVicker has been signed up for next year hasn't he uh, yeah will? yeah so oh, we have will. we have managed to secure Will's services for next year which is brilliant oh. um, and it's nice nice to actually have someone come in and add to the team and, and just sort of fit into the the culture and the environment that we're sort of looking to set. Obviously, we've only lost four games this year, so we're, we're having a very good run. Um, so it is nice to see, like, obviously, people wanting to play for Cornwall and, and committing to Cornwall. Um, so I think, yeah, overall, the change room is a very good place to be in. 
on the, on, on the field we're performing well um, and yeah just just the whole culture and every, everything about Cornwall Cricket Club is is in a very good place at the minute and long may it continue. I have to say and congratulate you again because you seem to be doing an absolutely superb job and results speak for themselves at the end of the day well, Paul so I well, wish you all the best for Wales next week and I look forward to seeing you there. Hopefully get another Cornish win. Excellent look forward to it. Thank you.